Okay, first of all, um, for now, it's a uh, piece of time isn't reusable. If you activate it, you can activate it in the same game again. So if you, for example, if you end pizza time, you can't redo pizza time. You can't redo it. Uh, but uh, one way around this before, uh, eventually gonna make it reusable. But if you want to make it reusable right now, you can make it where uh, the game is a place, and like you make a new, you copy the thing every time you go into a level. Kind of like, kind of like on Bed Wars, you join a match, you teleport into another game. You can like teleport into another game every time you wanna redo the level. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's how. You, anyways, we're gonna make a uh, stop the pizza time, f and I'm gonna do that by making a door. This door is not gonna look like a door because I'm trying to save time in this video. It's literally just gonna be a white part. That's not even white. It's literally just gonna be a white part that's neon. Yeah. And I'm gonna also make it where it's yeah it can't collide and it's angered and I'm gonna make it where you can't end pizza time unless you've actually started it, uh, obviously. So first of all, I'm actually gonna rename this part into exit. First of all. Okay, we're gonna make it where you, uh, you can only exit pizza time if you're pressing the up button too. The second pizza tower. So we're gonna go into the up button thing. Uh, I don't know, up. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so inside of here, if key equals up and give up ten uh if script dot parent wait for child hitbox get touching parts uh, oh wait for I V and pairs I mean blank B and pairs Do if v dot name equals exit and v dot parent equals workspace, then we're gonna end pizza time. To do that, we're gonna go in a end pizza time event. Pizza time end. So game that replicate storage wait for child. Pizza time end and we're gonna fire server. Uh, also gonna make a pizza time and function uh, pizza time end bindable, which is literally the same thing. Which is literally the same thing as pizza time n, except it's bindable function. I mean bindable event instead of a rebuild event. Okay, so I'm gonna fire the server. Pizza time end. Uh, bindable. I'm gonna fire that too. Okay. And we also have make it where it only works if it's st actually pizza time and to detect if it's pizza time or not is not the hard we can just check if the pizza face dot ink uh okay and workspace get attribute pizza time then yeah and we're gonna go inside the pizza time pizza time script and we are going to make it where um, workspace set attribute pizza time true. So you know it's pizza time. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Except this time it is called pizza.
to tind and on server events gonna first of all gonna set the workspace set attribute set attribute pizza time nil and uh inside the timer logo we're just gonna do until minutes and seconds or workspace get attribute pizza time or not uh, we're also gonna repeat has to wait until workspace get attribute pizza time and uh, this will also get a timer away and we're gonna also gonna kill pizza face so uh, once pizza time is there we're gonna workspace wait for child pizza face destroy um I guess we should try this. Okay, let's test this. Let's activate pizza time first. And now let's head to the exit. Is your error? Is error? Hmm. Let's have a mock input. Okay, let's go inside script. Go set a mock run script and see. Oh, oh, this is supposed to be lowercase. Okay, change this to lowercase. Okay, pizza, pizza time ended. Pizza, f pizza face shouldn't be here too. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Pizza face is here. And yeah, that's ending pizza time. 